transcending history and the world, a tale of digital monsters and crappy plot devices, brought to you by Bandai, eternally retold. Alright, enough of the Soul Calibur parodies. <clears throat> Welcome everyone to Let's Play Digimon World. I will be playing Digimon World for the PlayStation. And... This game, while... This game is really classic. I played it a lot when I was younger. But, uh... This game has a lot of... Let's say, flaws. And... And I thought that would warrant, you know, uh, going through the game and pointing all of the stupid stuff out. Okay. I swear, all of the males in this game have the same exact voice actor. Oh, I've gotten a Metal Mommy Mon before. Oh god, that kid is creepy. His mouth hangs open and he's got these weird eyeballs. What is with the camera? It's really erratic. Oh yeah, I thought I should let you know. This is just one of the three FMVs in this game. There are a grand total of three FMV cutscenes. And you know, and you know, you know, it's a one disc game. You can't expect them to make more than one FMV. But I thought I do start a new save file. Yeah. Yeah, there's a PlayStation 2 memory card in the second slot right now. And at the start of the game, this this dude asks you a bunch of questions. All these questions really have no bearing on the game whatsoever except determining what Digimon you start with. And you know, I just had to think of a name right now, right now, and And, and I could n and I cannot think of a name for the Digimon, I'm really bad at nicknaming, uh, monsters. Like, when I'm playing Pokemon, I don't bother with nicknames, I just, you know, pick the default. But there is no default, because your Digimon will be constantly changing forms. So, I had to think of something. And, you know, I go with something Leet. Real Leet. That's all the questions you have right now, huh? Do, do, do. Now this is the story, all about how his life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute, just sit down there, I'll tell you how he became the prince of a town called... Somewhere. Ooh, an apartment in Tokyo. Like that hat, like that hasn't been done before. Open the door and get in already. The cutscene's taken too long. Man, this is long. Look at his big black bulgy eyeballs. Oh, the guy comes home to find that he's home alone today. This is the perfect opportunity for a crappy plot device to take effect. Over-exaggerated camera sequence! Okay, I see, I'm not sure, but I don't think Digivices, like, toy Digivices, have backlights. Oh, come on, you've seen those things before. You, my friend, are the chosen one! Ugh, I'll tell you right now, I can't stand plots involving the chosen one. As you know, why is this specific person the chosen one? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say because he's the best 
in the entire universe. That's that's the only thing I can think of that would actually make this make sense. Wild City. Oh, come on. Like, this hasn't been done before. Oh, and you're gonna notice that the text has a lot of English in it. This game is a bit buggy. The text glitches a couple times in places. There's English. Come on, you know what a Digimon is! I thought you knew about Digimon. I got it, this is a dream. It's not a dream. Realistic dream? Come on. It's not a dream, but it's not real either. You know, that makes no sense to me. This is Digimon World. It's the digital world. It looks too real to me. Hey, I'm your Digimon! I digivolved five seconds after chanting that spell! <clears throat> to do, not much to do, not much for me to say. Save, save you from what? It's never really established what exactly you're saving Vile City from. And basically, all the Digimon in the city lost their ability to talk and left the city. Now, you have no idea how this happened. Who's doing it? Well, well, I don't want to spoil anything too soon, but you do know, you do find out who did it, but you don't know how or why for that matter. I seriously have no idea how disbanding a little city um, allows for the possibility of taking over the this world. You're our only hope. I ain't your only hope. Pick a pick another random kid. Yeah. Wait, I haven't finished yet. Come back and listen to me ramble. So anyways, the first thing we're going to do is indulge in acceptable breaks from reality. Uh, I don't even know if that's physically possible, but just... Okay, so you get three pieces of meat a day. You're gonna need that, because this ain't your reg your average RPG in this game. Well, I guess, I guess I'll let them explain it. What you have to do is go around File Island and bring bring and get a bunch of Digimon to join the city. Oh, and you talk to this guy who gives you lots of items to start. Now listen to this. In this game, you have to feed your Digimon when he gets hungry and take him to the toilet when he needs to poop. And and make him go to sleep when he's ready to go to sleep. I mean, Seriously, this is just like those um, virtual pet things, the uh, the uh, di the old Digivices, where Digimon really started out. So, so this is kind of a throwback to what what it was, and and combining that with what it is now, I guess. Oh come on! Don't you have a map of this island or something? You think they have a map or something?